Welcome back to Vintage Story and we are on Aura Fury but I'm going to show you a couple of builds by Galegio. One is his new tavern by Spawn and the other is the most stunning uh, planetarium he's built and amendments to the previous build I showed. Galegio is having a few problems with his microphone because he's not a YouTuber he doesn't have a proper mic so he's using a combination of a headset which he's listening to which is on the top of his head and a headset round his neck into which he's talking so we are soldiering on but I would say one thing Galadro's builds are really top-end builds and they speak for themselves <laughs> if it's too much for you you can turn the sound down but I think we've got enough of Galadro explaining what he's been doing to make it quite interesting. I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to Vintage Story Aura Fury and I am going to show you the next build by Galadro and he has built a tavern. This road here is the road that you would come in from Spawn. This is from the north and if you take the south road from Spawn, there is help in sight because Galadro has built a tavern. This is Galadro's tavern and it is called the Four Shields. Galadro, do you want to show me around the tavern? Shall we look at the outside first? Oh, let's go to the outside. Okay. So, going from the... Uh... You can just uh, see the inside of the structure. I wanted it to be uh, a sort of Renaissance uh, structure, Renaissance architecture, and the whole place is for the public. Uh, this place is not a home. This place is for everybody, especially for the newbies. Yeah. If we uh, take a look back uh, right next to the sign, we've got a public uh, survival shelter and I just got permission to replace this with that. Right. So this is kind of an upgrade to the uh, servers, uh, like newbie areas. Right. So this is being replaced by that. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> so you've gone from a one star stop to a seven star hotel. <laughs> Pretty much. Absolutely. So guys, this is no longer the Traveller's Rest. You now get this. So, let's go around the outside, Galejo. Go around the outside. Uh, as you can see, the whole place is riddled with uh, berries, with uh, free foods. I really wanted to make this place uh, provide food resources for yes. anyone, and especially for the newbies. Yes. All time, all year round. So, uh, I wanted to build resources for uh, the public that can be uh, that can last forever Good. Here. so presumably if they need resources they harvest them and replant do they yeah this, uh, this is going to last during the winter so yeah the power is going to uh, supply everybody uh, wow yeah like i said renaissance architecture uh, to give it uh, this kind of look but pre, uh, pre-designing it in creative. The biggest problem, uh, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to the inside, is um, uh, is the brick, the red brick, which is not available uh, in place to get it, buying it from the traders. So you've That's had to buy the... all the red brick from traders. Exactly, and uh, so th that was probably the most expensive part. That is wow. glacial ice for the windows. The windows are glacial ice. Okay, and what is this beautiful stone here? Oh, that's limestone. It's limestone. Wow. So it's red. So it's red brick, limestone, and blue clay shingles for the outside. Okay, and glacial ice in the windows. Beautiful. Right. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look at the side that overlooks the gardens. So the gardens are going to be actually expanded. Yeah. As you can see there is a lot of free space over here. It's actually prepped for even more um, 
even more farmland in yes. order to make vegetables, uh, to grow vegetables and probably other fruit okay. uh, in this place. Yes. Uh, there's a lot. I've got a lot of plans for the exterior as a, aside from the tavern. So where we stand is probably going to be, uh, or at least where this lake is, we're going to have a chessboard, a public oh. chessboard. Oh. And on the other exact other side of the tavern, we're going. Sorry, I lost what you said. Then on the other side of tavern, we're going to have what? We're going to have uh, a marketplace. Oh, oh. Wow, how wonderful. I love the the windows. The, the Just, bay window. Yeah. yeah that, it's... There's a lot of paint to actually design this thing. I did, uh, did see this structure at some 17th century building, so yeah, I wanted to do that as well. Is it a true building? Have you copied a building in real life? It's uh, pretty much a copy of uh, a bay window from So uh, the structure is similar to it, but not exactly like the Russell Tower. I lost that bit. Your mic cut out. The similar uh, to what? It's similar to the Russell Town. It's a city in Poland. Oh, a city in no. Poland. Say it again. Yeah, uh, Wrocław. Wrocław. City in Poland. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make sense of the word. I hadn't realised it was a name. Wrocław. Well, I must say, if that's what Voslav looks like, Poland must be really pretty. <laughs> yeah, we uh, usually have uh, the old towns are usually seven, uh, I think this kind of 17th, 18th century wow. architecture. So, um, we got a lot of, you know, old architecture in uh, yeah. these places. Anyway, shall we see the other shall side? We see the inside. Yes, there's one more side to see, which is this side here. So the place is pretty much symmetrical. Uh, I was actually beating myself whether to make it uh, perfectly symmetrical or make it asymmetrical. So it's, uh, you know, I, don't, I didn't like uh, the idea of a perfect square, but then again, I would have problems on the inside of what to put on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, I, I decided on a choppy block. It's lovely. A place. Like the, uh, place these, I don't know, holes and crenellations and these bay windows to yeah. break the structure. But, yes. but it is, in a sense, a block. Mm, well, <laughs> that doesn't look much like block architecture to me, but let's go and see the inside. And the entrance is here, it's beautiful. So, is that chalk up there? There's, what is the... Uh, limestone suit? and, uh, limestone and uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's um, chalk sand. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's get inside. Yes. So immediately we have, as I would expect from you, superb chiseling, beautiful, beautiful Renaissance chairs. Uh, lovely windows in the corner you have chiseled red clay and is that uh, chalk sand That's, again no this is actually plaster and plaster. Uh, you can see them almost walls, uh, like the plaster is peeling yes yes I understand okay. that yeah I'm in love with the rafters I love the combination of old wood aged wood or aged wood and acacia they go so well together and having rafters in acacia and the, the the floor above in old wood is just gorgeous absolutely beautiful uh, i thought that uh, making uh, arched roofs uh, these gothic style uh, not work for the base floor uh, so i wanted to make something more historically accurate so i yeah. just made plank just regular wooden planking. Okay. Is this a so, so, is this a mouse hole here at the bottom of this uh, column? That would be the uh, fuel reserves. You can actually open this there as a chest in there. Oh. Oh my goodness. You got, you got <laughs> fuel for the you got fuel for the public. And this is where you cook your food. Yeah, this is where you can now cook their food. Yeah, I also placed a uh, torch there. For if you don't have a torch so yeah 
somebody literally a naked can come in here and themselves. That's okay. lovely. I love the fireplaces. They're so pretty, beautifully done. And also, is this a couple of samovars here or coffee mugs? What are these? Oh, that's beer. Oh, of Mugdu. course. Oh, of course, they're foaming over the top. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> and then over here we have wine in glasses, yes? Yeah, the uh, thing is that I want to make sort of chiseled foods and tables. Yeah. As you can see, we've got a lot of tables already. Yes. I think you can each one to like copy everything again and again and again. Yeah. Like, each table. Okay. Yeah. And the round here, this beautiful uh, surrounding at the bottom of the wall. This looks like chert and acacia, is that right? Real, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's chert and uh, acacia. The boiserie goes uh, all, across the, uh, all across the first floor and the second floor. Yeah, very, very nice combination. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, let's have a look round on the ground floor. So we have all the tables for food round here. You can get your food from outside, guys. Cook it in here. There's a little uh, area there. This empty place, I want to make some kind of picture games. Uh, and I want to talk about it. And they always have this kind of place where you can, you know, um, fist fight. You've got fist fighters in, uh, in the taverns. So I wanted to make this place a kind of a fist fighter place. A fist fighter? Figure out, figure out an arena. Oh my goodness. Wow. An arena, a boxing arena. Or wrestling arena okay so this is the ground floor now do we go up or down next let's go down okay uh, over here is the uh, thing. yeah the... guys we're having a tiny problem with Galatro's mic he's having to yeah. use two headsets one on his head and one around his neck uh, because he's got some sort of mic problem but anything I can't hear Galatro I'll ask you to repeat so we go down right, here no to the basement. Nice. So I was figuring out and struggling with the idea, where do, where do I put the counter in a tavern? Where do you buy your stuff? So here. Uh, I decided that uh, going uh, that on the base floor, it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Because uh, the, the staircase, the grand staircase, uh, has a lot of things. So I wanted to make it in the basement. So this is yeah. perfect. Pretty much where you would buy your uh, buy your goods. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a pretty doorway! Look at that. They go all the way. It's the base floor. Yeah, they're all across the place actually. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't place real doors on them because uh, doors don't go up in the middle of the block. The side. I think it looks good like this. I'm not missing the doors. And you've got beautiful pots in here. Oh my goodness. So pretty. So I need to place a lot of uh, space for resources. For, yeah. You know, stuff that people like to have. This is pretty much the general food area. So yes. we've got our first supply of grains, of uh, vegetables uh, to pick up, mm. barrels for um, pickling stuff. We've got two racks for tools. And uh, well, burns from making a bed. Okay, right. It is the, negative the... here, guys. It is negative. That's the one thing to be aware of. Don't stay too long in the tavern, or it changes yeah. from a normal tavern to a rust world tavern, and who knows what will come then. Okay, shall we go up to right. the second floor? Right. Yeah. The base floor is there to provide uh, basic resources and stuff for yeah. the player. So I want to make a uh, leather working station down there. I want oh. to make furnaces for working, but only just basic stuff. Yeah. So that needs to get people started. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Anyways, shall we go up? Yes. Look at this staircase, guys. Isn't that just gorgeous? That truly is a medieval staircase. 
Wow. And in here? Oh, you're going to build bedrooms. Yeah, so uh, this floor is uh, also a part for the tavern. So this is still going to be a, a drink and enjoy yourself place. But at the same time, I want to make private rooms here for rent. Wow. And, you know, you can, you can just get in them and uh, there's going to be a private bed and stuff like that. Gorgeous. I just love forgot. it. And then what's up? I just up? forgot to put in the walls. <laughs> Everything has its time. And what about upstairs here? Oh upstairs, my word. <gasps> Just look at that chiseling, guys. Beautiful. And this is plaster. It's chiseled plaster. Right. Wow. And you've already started putting all the beds up here. Lovely. Yeah, so the, the, so the place is supposed to be a sleeping room for the less fortunate. Yes. I think this is pretty fortunate to be in at night it's very nice i love it is, is it lit at night is, is the light up here uh no actually i haven't put any lights up here but you know the two chandeliers from below actually lit up the place really quickly. oh how interesting yeah. And the chandeliers below guys i've seen those they're in the yeah they're actually on the bay inside windows. of the bay window Wow. I have to say, I love most of it, but this staircase is the absolutely beautiful, beautiful construction. I like the way it looks. And I love the bay windows. I, this is very, very true to the medieval style. And look, guys, there are stripes down the walls wonderful yeah i wanted to give it uh, less of a blocky uh, yes. look so i just you know, just made it and then tried to copy uh, the lower floor so uh, i wanted to make this architecturally feasible so on the lower floor uh, this is where the this is where the fireplace is so the middle column is the uh, chimney oh this is time. a chimney yeah, oh. uh, so Wow! So if you look below, you will see uh, the fireplace and uh, the chimney of the fireplace is oh. uh, makes up these... I see, so the smoke goes up and then it, f it l actually funnels up like a fireplace. Isn't yeah, that and also fabulous? If, and also if you look uh, at this uh, at this piece, you'll see that um, it's actually also architecturally feasible because if you go, go back into the uh, lower floor, everything is a very tight wall. Uh, on this floor, we have less walls, but more arches. Yes. And as you go up, there is less, uh, things get light. So uh, there's less weight. There's, there's less things. weight? There's less weight? No. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So underneath you've got the really heavy structure and then this one yeah. is a sort of medium structure and as you go up through the house you have less and less weight. Right. Love so it. Uh, it, 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 this is how brick buildings were usually built because uh, to be lighter uh, as you go upwards, so that yes. they, have, they are stable. Yes, of course. Gosh, that's wonderful, but Galatia absolutely wonderful what thank you very much and i hope the server appreciates it. oh as in uh, i hope everybody is going to be happy oh <laughs> what's not to like of course the server appreciates this i mean it's just so nice to have places like this that people can come into and to find you know when you first join a server i joined this server quite a long time ago and I remember walking for two days in the pitch blackness um, and there was a temporal storm I didn't have any food light I couldn't even see to find twigs on the floor this way you spawn in you can just come down the south road and immediately you've got somewhere to take refuge you don't have to if you're a survivalist you just head out you go through the teleporter to the wilds and head out. 
But if you want to have a look round first, my goodness, that's a real resource. Well, guys, we have travelled through space and time and we are now at Galegio's build. You've seen this before, but about three days after I had recorded the video, we had a major server crash. And I'm afraid Galegio lost, what was it, two or three walls or something? Yeah, I pretty much lost something like build how much including including one quarter of the build oh my fort. goodness so i had to rebuild everything from scratch yeah and yeah. it's only thanks to coca-cola i think that's his name that we've managed to get the server going at all so we're going to go and have another look at this build because it's been built slightly differently I think Galegio used a chance to improve it. Galegio still had a few problems with his mic. He's made some amendments. We're hoping it's better. Okay, yeah. so look at it, guys. Wow. Should we go up there? Yeah, we should go out and we should go out because uh, as the windmill goes and uh, the forest, nothing has changed. Okay. It didn't improve anything. No. So most of the work was. Uh, in the actual build itself yes so we'll come up here which you will be familiar with with this gorgeous little chiseled lantern ah oh, we're going a different way this time here we go yeah the famous road to rivendell yes gorgeous isn't it yeah I love it just as much the second time with the beautiful little niches in the corner, all this lovely work, the, this going under the bridge. So, oh this is my word. Uh, I actually upgraded the tunnel to be a little bit more detailed. A little bit more detailed. Wow. Oh my word. Look at that, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Limestone and obsidian and skulls. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. We have a tomb. A mausoleum. A mausoleum. Look at him. And that's brilliant bit of chiseling because I can see the knight there with his hands on his chest, his feet, and underneath. Uh, he walks at night. Look at the blood going into the skeleton. It's a vampire. I can actually see his teeth. <laughs> and the blood is going to you. Oh, I love the sword in the stone. Oh, my word. Look at that. Yeah, I wanted to make a regular tomb and I don't know what you call them, vaulted or... I don't know. Mortuary, ah. mortuary tombs, like you got the, the the upper floor is a statue. The lower floor is the statue of a dead. Oh gosh! They used to build these to the plague, so you had the image of a man who was alive and the image of the real man, the dead corpse. Do you know? I have never ever seen a tomb like that in the UK. Wow. Uh, I think these uh, these were after 1375. Yeah. They started making these in a Memento Mori style. So this is actually a historical design. Memento Mori, wonderful. Right. And then we come out here. Wow. I love that tomb. So this is another addition. Yeah. Right. So I managed to rig up the entire passage. Uh, give it all those railings again. Wow. Oh my goodness. So much work. And it's not just in the chiseling, it's in the, it's also in the gathering of the materials too, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, no material, no material is really. Uh, yeah. And we have a varduct. We have a varduct too. Brilliant. Yeah, I actually improved the railings on that as well. Yeah. 
Improve the range a lot. Regular stone. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yes, we, this little bit is lovely. So you lead on and I'll follow. She managed to wall up the entire place. It didn't so I, to be whoa, whoa, whoa. So say again, you, need, you, you managed to what? I managed to uh, finish up all the work, all the walls. It wasn't fully walled up before uh, in the last visit. Yes. So now I've managed to put all the proper walls, yes. all the corners in. Yes. So those were pretty much all the places that you know, were lost in the in the project. So the yeah. entire uh, the entire smithy was lost. All those walls over here. Oh. Lost. The entire tower play, uh, part of the wall was lost. Oh my goodness. I yeah, haven't so, seen the tower before. Yeah. Yeah, because I had to. Uh, when uh, last time you saw it, it was just a couple of blocks. Uh, yes. So, yeah, so now it's fully finished. Yes. Wonderful. Also managed to uh, fix up the fields, the tops, because uh, they used to be a mess. Now I placed everything. Last time uh, in this place, we had I had a um, chiseling workshop over here. Yeah. While uh, now we just have resources. Right. And it's beautiful. I love the idea of making it like a parterre with the um, berry bushes as the hedges. It works very, very well. Yeah, the smithy was reconstructed. Fully. It's the oh. same way as as it was. Thanks to your video, I was able to uh, be it uh, exactly as it was. Oh, I'm so okay. pleased! <laughs> it's yeah, good. Uh, actually, good reference material there. Yes, I I immediately when the server got back up and running, I immediately offered to go and video anybody's build, and I will video anybody's build, not just these what I would call high-end builds that take hours and hours of work and chiseling. But I will video anybody's build because everyone can always find something interesting or nice about them. Right, so what else has yeah, been so, going on? So I'm actually starting to add more production. Yeah. Over here. No, I... No place for the bees. Oh, this is going to be another beehive area. Lovely. Very, so very nice. This is going to be red, as red as possible. Okay. Uh, we actually lost the, um, all the, this valley's road. Last time we could were actually able to go down to see the build from the outside. Lost. You lost the road. Okay. Rebuild it, actually. So the only way we can actually see it is from this hill so that's basically all that is there that's okay oh wow so pretty but i haven't been in the yeah. tower yet and also you added the since i was last here you've added the railings around the roof they make such a difference don't they they really finish it off i love the yeah, colors yeah always wanted to make uh, so I say, say that again whole, uh, the whole game is pretty much green and brown yeah yeah always try to add exotic colors in yes a place. that's why uh, it's made of basalt limestone oxide so this doesn't naturally spawn around in this place yeah makes a nice color yeah so going into the tower yeah this is an chiseling area. This is your chiseling area, yeah. The general chiseling work area. It continues for several floors. So wow. Storage spaces. Yeah, it's your storage it's area, yeah. The leather working area. Leather by the look of it. Or yeah. brining yeah. stuff. Wow. And this is the astronomic. This is the top of the top. Oh, my word. 
so still placing stuff. I want to uh, put books in here, bookshelves, some excellent stuff, astrological. My word, I'm just trying to get that level and straight. Oh. You can actually go upwards uh, because of the, of the roof is actually magic. It's supposed to be made of magic, but it's actually just glacial. It's whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Wait a minute, guys. Look at this floor. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Wow. Limestone, it, chalk, and basalt? Yes, exactly. Gorgeous. And then you've got this amazing tracery of ice. And we can go up the ice stairs. Oh, I love the walls. Is that, yeah, obsidian and limestone, don't they go well together? Yeah, they actually make a nice... Uh, and the roof. It's gorgeous. Oh, my word. And this is... This is a planetarium, isn't it? You've got the different planets. I can see Saturn. I can see Saturn. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, if in vintage story you call it Earth or Terra. Call it what? Uh, if Earth. Is Earth in vintage story Earth or is it Terra or is it? I don't know. Presumably this one is Earth with the ice caps. Yeah. Yeah. I made months, uh, a couple of months. There's a sun on the roof. Yeah, and there's the the red one. Is that Mars or Mercury? Uh, it was supposed to be Mars. Mars, yes, the red planet. That makes sense. So we have Earth, Saturn, Mars, the sun. <gasps> oh, my word, that's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, good grief. And there's... Oh, there's our moon. There's our moon, guys. <laughs> Yay for the moon. Windows are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Actually looks better if not it because the uh, these two blue lanterns are there. So during the night, uh, the tap glows blue. So it goes Ooh. really nice, really nice with the glacial ice, which is also blue. Yes. This is gorgeous. Loving it. Love the windows. The depth you get in these windows is fabulous. Makes such a difference. The, the whole look of it is wonderfully 3D. And look at this with that little line under the windowsills. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Wow. That's something, Galatio. That is really something. Well done. Very, it very well. better when I put some, some books, some you know, lecterns. And I would just leave it here. <laughs> I would not put anything in this room. It's perfect as it is. Simplicity, simple and elegant. Wow. Yeah, because the thing is that uh, this game is still blocky. Like, yeah. Uh, all game is blocky, so we have to, res we have to kind of respect the block. Yes. To not go too fancy because that actually gives you ice cream or something. Yeah. You heard too, it here too. first, guys. Respect the block. But I saw something in this room that I hadn't seen before. I've seen... I mean, the table is lovely. The bookcases are gorgeous. But look. Christmas decorations, guys. Look at that. Yeah, I still forgot to put them out after the in-game Christmas. Ah, but in here, and this is where uh, I've, I'd seen the bed, which is lovely. What I hadn't seen was this. I, do you call that a, a chest of, it's not a chest of drawers, a portmanteau? It's a, I think it's a drawer. Yeah, I would call that a portmanteau. Isn't that wonderful? So what other goodies have you got stashed away here? Let's have a look in the corner room. Oh, my word. Paint room. we still got Christmas. We've still got Christmas. Look at the presents. Look at the tree. Guys, 
this is vintage story, you know? This has all been chiselled. All the little bows and everything. Oh, it's so, so good. I love it. Absolutely love it. I wish the traders would sell these. Sell me a Christmas tree trader. Sell me a wreath. Isn't that lovely? Sorry, I can't hear that. Uh, if we have uh, Indian Christmas, we still have uh, decorations. It's in Christmas in December. Yes. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> so I think by mass producing these and uh, let's just. Oh, wow. Definitely. What a great yeah. idea to mass produce them. Wow. I mean, the room didn't much change after the Christmas decorations. I actually lost a table. Yeah. Do you remember the last episode we played with mm -hmm. some glassware in there? But, yeah. yeah. I lost it. Yeah, I haven't actually rebuilt it ever since. Other than that, the room hasn't changed since the last. Okay. But I think so that's shall lovely. Shall we go downstairs? Yes, please. You, you lead on. Now, last time downstairs was you were just starting. Yeah, it was just beginning. Now I finished the walling, the roofing. Oh, that's Starting nice. Starting to furnishing the place. That's nice, isn't it? Is this part of the game? It is. It's the schematic tapestry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. These are just schematics. I just found them. Yeah. Anyways, the infamy room doesn't have anything to show for itself. I just placed some lightning. I'm just finishing up the walling of the place. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Sorry, say again. Yeah, I just want to play some medical stuff, chemical stuff. Yeah. Oh, medical stuff. Yeah. Now, is it going to be a real hospital or sort of Frankenstein's lair? Seeing if you've got a vampire more like an, up to... More like an alchemy room. More like a what? Alchemy room. Alchemy. Chemistry room. Ooh. Ooh. And this is going to be a main hall, so I want to put some libraries in here. I want more books. Books, right. General, sorry, general study area. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just repeated some ideas from the from the tap. So maybe it's the same story is the same. Yeah. The roof is uh, new design. Wow. So Go. so pretty. The chandelier holders are wonderful. Uh, did you go down I or really, up? You went actually down. Really, yeah, I went down. The chandeliers are really unstable because I had to place them on the block and then I had to chisel the block without touching the yes. chandeliers. If I to touch them, the chandelier will fall apart. Oh my completely. goodness. So, uh, the technical areas, this is storage, this is kitchens and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, it still works like that. I still have pieces of here. So not only are you building this build, but you're building the tavern as well at the same time. Yeah, two projects at the same time. Oh my goodness, and they're not small projects. Yeah, I mean, there's more coming. Yeah, fabulous. So yeah, the technical areas are here. The um, pantry hasn't really changed ever since. Yep. It's, uh, the bedroom, the real bedroom, is actually a new addition. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got a teddy bear. Oh, my goodness. This is Mr. Pengling. Pengling. A peng yeah, it does look more like Mr. a pengling. Pengling. So you sleep here. <laughs> I better get out of here before night, guys. Oh, my goodness. And what is this? This is a basin of blood over here, is it? Yeah, I still, I'm still furnishing the place, you know, I just need to give a corpse over here and a oh. just out little thing over here and, oh, gosh. and the roof. As you do. As you do. Wow. Gosh, look at that. I love the pangling. I love the coffin. It's really nice. It's, it, what is it made of? It's chert. It's but, yeah, it's dead box size. Yeah. You've got uh, shingles, uh, I play shingles. And yes. Stones. 
there is also you know, polished the salt. Yeah. Gosh. Really pretty. I love the handles on it too. Fantastic. Oh my word. You're having some fun with this. I love the way that, oops, I love the way that the um, granite cobble is interspersed with the obsidian in the walls. It's, a, oh, very appropriate. Added a little, added, added little layer of symmetry. If you actually remove your lantern, the whole place is actually, better, but it's still daytime, so you can be able to see the red. So all of it is red oh, light. Oh, Wow. Thing about bauxite is that it's orange and how to make it red you just put red light in it and it changes uh, the color settings yes it starts looking red yes wow nice very very nice very imaginative good grief also also from the temper changes the only other change that I did was a small evacuation route. So, uh, was, any, slow down was in what? A small evacuation route. Oh, a small so, evac evacuation. So, if they come searching for you with torches and a stake to burn <laughs> you as you sleep, you run down here, do you? Yeah, because you got uh, now you've got a scenic route. Yes. Uh, through the whole tunnel and stuff. And then you've got the real route. This, fast way to get down to the road oh wonderful i'm going down here have we all oh, have we finished looking around we have haven't we yeah this is pretty much all the changes that i made to the puppies okay what i am going to do though guys is i'm just going to show you that we came in to the windmill here and then we've come up the staircase that winds up here to this big build here amazing absolutely amazing and do we go north or south uh, we can go north and we'll end up where we started okay let's do that eating as we go well I can't thank you enough for that that has been an absolutely fabulous tour and I love the way that it has moved from being the magic of Rivendell into a rather sinister, sinister, a sinister hidden secret. A little hidden secret. Thank you so much, Galadriel. Thank you. Well, anyways, it's been an honour. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Bye bye. Bye bye.